Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Mossley Farms. Oh my goodness, and look at everything. Oh, everyone's so happy. Oh, and I gotta feed my little bees. Let's go ahead and feed those guys so that they're ready to fertilize the crops we're about to plant. And speaking of crops we are about to plant, this little, like, field thing is amazing! I didn't realize it, but when you fertilize these guys, of course it doubles just like it doubles with any other of the crops, but that means you get 11 crops from this thing, and that is just so cool. In a 4x4 area, that normally would have only held 8, so you're just, you know... Let's see, yeah, two, four, six, eight, so, like, it's a little bit of a boost, but when that could be, like, a whole nother plot, it's just, it's really cool, and just think about when we can upgrade this puppy in the future. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I have some awesome new things to show you guys. First off, check it out! Our horse stable! It is built, and it has our lovely prized horses, our two prized horses in there right now. I didn't realize we only had two, and that would probably explain why it's so freaking hard for us to get enough of the prized horses saddles in order to make leather which is needed for all of the many 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 books because farming farming is an intense effort and you have to be quite educated to do so but there have been quite a few other things uh, kind of built around let's see oh yeah look our little chicken hatch or, well she already had hatched but now she's all grown up this is autumn she is the beautiful chicken that we managed to find over here in this field and she popped out we finally finished raising her I do believe she is a cocky chicken so she's like really bold and kind of takes control of the farmyard and now we have a new little baby who needs this one's gonna be a bit of a scaredy chicken because I was like you know what it's autumn and that's like you know when when scary things happen like Halloween so I figured this would be our scaredy chicken and we're still working on the security personality. We've already made a security blanket, and next we need to make a fur dream catcher. And I realized we have a problem there, because the only animal that makes fur that we have is a buffalo. And where'd our buffalo go? I put our buffalo away because guess what? He's prized now. So I guess we're gonna need to get a new baby buffalo, and we'll feed a baby buffalo. We might do that in just a minute. But I also wanted to show you guys these. There's some new crops that are available for the Halloween season, and they are bat flowers. Bat flowers! Look at these guys! They're just so pretty! And you can use them in the, the usual. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's go to... Here they are. You can use them in the usual things you can use flowers in, which are like the bat flower bouquet, the gloomy wreath, which I thought was kind of cool, and the bat flower vase, the black vase. So these guys are going to be here for three weeks, so that's a little bit uh, longer than what Halloween will be, since Halloween is in a couple weeks. So they'll stick around, and then of course if you're still into something a little more cheerful, you have your um, highland reefs, which are very, very pretty, and your floss reefs, very pretty, very lovely. And you also have the cypress bushes, the cypress bushes, and their reefs, and I freaking love these things. If these can be like turned into items that you can put down, I want them everywhere. But I don't know, like I've not seen this guy before, and that's because he cost a moolah! Do you see that? Do you see that? I wish you could use these decorative items around the farm, because that would just be amazing. But yeah, so we don't have um, the cypress bush, or the heirloom cypress bush, but we do have the black bat flowers. And what is this black magic archway? Oh, that sounds so dangerous. From the black magic flower tree. Where the heck is that? Right over here. It's another... Wow. It's another one of the, the like trees you have to pay for to buy. But you see, I don't... I don't know about spending farm bucks on trees, because I'm earning farm bucks doing exercises right now because I want the peacock. Did I show you guys the peacock? I've decided that every mile I run and that every exercise I do earns me one farm buck, which is really helping, and I want this peacock right here. This black shoulder silver pied peacock. I think it's absolutely gloriously beautiful, and so I'm trying to earn this little guy, and so far doing so good, and he's going to be here for 13 more days, so I gotta work hard so I can, like, afford him, you know, buy him for myself. It's a good self-challenge to motivate myself to, like, work out really, really hard every day. And he's just so cute. And I can understand buying him because even when he becomes a prized adult and I need space on the farm for a little while, I can put him in our inventory. And I can put, like, the animals in their inventory that you can get, but you can't put the trees in your inventory. And what if you end up with all these trees you don't really want, but you paid money for them? So now what are you going to do? 
So yeah, I'll think about it. But yes, so the black bat flowers. So let's go ahead and harvest these puppies. And if you guys recall from Potato Palooza yesterday, we are trying to get, ooh yay, yellow mastery ribbon already, sweet. Ooh, and look how pretty they are, you guys. Oh my goodness, are we the first to grow a prized one for the festival? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, and let's share some worms. How are we doing on the worms? I'm gonna be working really hard because I think today is the last day. Yep, 11 hours left and I still want another baby mandarin duck, so I need to get 120 more worms. So I'm gonna be working really hard on that. In fact, I think I grew a lot of extra corn last night. I did, all right. Yay, we just made six worms. And you can make uh, six worms using eight corn and the worm bin, which is really fun. I've actually helped to take care of a vermicomposting bin before. It's really fun. Uh, it's a great way to get your organic produce and waste from the kitchen recycled. And now we're gonna come in and we're gonna harvest the the potatoes and the pumpkins. Oh, bee box is ready. Let's harvest that too. Look at all those guys from the plot. Isn't that just so cool? And look at that giant spud. I'm gonna snag that puppy too. Wait, donkeys, you guys, seriously. Go back over here, go over here. You are, nope, get out of the way. You guys are in the way, thank you. No, little brat, he just walked right around. Look at the size of these spuds, my friends. And this giant gourds we've got. Giant gourds, giant spuds. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? That's gonna be the biggest mashed potato pile ever. I'm gonna have to like invite you guys over it. Oh, oh I missed one. I can't believe I missed growing a baby ginger. Oh. All right, let's gather up these baby ginger. My goodness, prized crops every two seconds. That's amazing. And then, whoops, I didn't mean to feed the cow. That's okay. Let's gather up the cranberries really fast. And who do we have today helping us out? Okay, so here's Joe. Joe, you're awesome. I will deal with you in just a second, my dear friend. And then this is Casey. Oh, how fun. So we've got Joe and Casey here with us today. And then we've also got Shintaro, who visits every day. That's awesome. And Marley, who also visits almost every day. And there's Casey again, so she's here twice. That's so cool. So what I was thinking we would do before we really get into um, letting all of our farmhands help is we're going to look at what the favors can do again, the upgrading of our farm can do. Because I've been being pestered by the, the notices that, hey, did you know? You can now have a trow, or trow, or however you pronounce this thing. And so we can get like an egg trow, where we can get 10% more eggs. It adds a ton of feeding capacity, which would be really useful. And it costs basically all of the money we have right now. So that kind of sucks. But you can also get one for dairy, the birds, um, the wool and fur. And you can also get one for the pigs and the stable too. So let's see, it looks like we actually can't afford <laughs> The wool and fur. I wanted to afford the wool and fur and we could just do that, but it looks like we can't afford it. But we can afford the egg one. So I want we're gonna have to save up for the wool and fur and the stable because we are always falling short when it comes to horseshoes and when it comes to wool. And actually when it also comes to milk. <laughs> So these seem like a great idea because you get an increased amount, you increase the feed capacity, and it feeds all of those types of animals at once. So we're going to go ahead and sacrifice 200000 of our dollars. That's so many of our dollars. And we will buy the egg trow, tro, however you pronounce it, and let's put it over here in front of our, in front of our chicken a uh, little house and it's right next to our prize chicken coop. You can see our prize chickens dancing around right there. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put it right there. And then, let's see. Finish your feeding trough. So I need to add some silos, is that the case? Uh-huh, I see it. Okay, what do you want? What do you want me to do? All right, let's see what it needs. Add silos. Add silos for more feed capacity. Oh! I pick the puppy up. Come here, come here. Hey, hey, you. Oh my gosh. How the heck? Okay, hang on, you guys. You need to scoot here. You need to come with me. And I feed it a whole silo. There you go. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. All right, now what? Yay! Do I still have my... 
395 feet capacity. What? That is ridiculous. Okay, so I have, what does it say? I have two hungry animals. So we put the feed in here. How does this work? This is kind of awesome. And I get 10% more egg or 15% more eggs or something like that. <gasps> Look, my little chick chick. It's coming over. It's like, oh, it's food time. I got this. Nice, there you go, have some have some eggs. Sweet, and the chicken that's stuck back there gave me a bunch of eggs. So we got nine eggs. I don't know, maybe that's like one more than we would have gotten. Oh, oh, there's a bonus egg just out of the blue. Okay, that's fine. So then we've got 10 eggs. I think that's definitely more eggs uh, by one or two than we would have gotten just feeding them normally. So there we go. And then whenever we have hungry animals, we just come over here and use it. That's so cool. And now when we make super feed, can we... I think we can get, let's see, 400 feet required. <gasps> We're so close, you guys. Oh my gosh, so close. Oh, I almost don't want to use the super feed right now, but we can get five super feed packs soon. And we can already get the three super feed packs. That's actually half of what I have to focus on right now for this baby ginger, even though it sells for some pretty cool stuff too, is just getting enough feed to feed everyone and also make the super feed. There we go, because the super feed is fan-freaking-tastic. I highly recommend it if you guys can afford to make super feed. Uh, it, you really get to the point where you want to be smart about how you use your farmhands who come visit, because uh, that will help you get more, more of the crops you need to feed your animals, because they're hungry suckers. Here you go, guys. Oh, and speaking of feeding our animals, we're still training our daughter, Lily. Lily, girl. Lily, my dear. Hang on. Mom's trying to... There's so much, so much food flying everywhere. There you go. Feed that. Feed that little one. Wait. Come here, pig, pig. There she is. Running past the little... Little... Oh, there she is at the picnic table. Hi, Lily. But we are still training Lily and trying to get her leveled up on her skills so that she can help us feed the animals, which is absolutely awesome. All right, let's take care of this and this. Do I need to make more feed? Let's make a couple more feed just in case. This baby ginger is amazing. It makes feeding these animals so much easier. Oh, good, and the prize sheep is ready to be fed too. I'm still leaving it out of the little like one we have one prize sheep in here but I'm leaving the other one out because it's just letting us um, it, then if you guys come visit you can feed my prize sheep and I will actually get oops gotta craft a fertilizer rake by leaving my prize sheep out of the little shed that she's normally in I actually get the fine fleeks when you guys super feed her so let's see who's this oh the rabbit warren is ready Man, everyone's hungry. Whoa, look at all these duck feathers. Using the duck feathers up, oh, and there we go. There's more wool. There's more for that. Our spinning wheel is probably almost ready. Okay, feed you guys. Holy moly, everyone's like getting hungry at once here. Gotta feed you guys. Watch out, Joe. You got some golden fleece in your, your beautiful blonde hair there. All right, there's that. Gotta feed you. You have the ingredients to craft a stuffed buffalo toy. How? Who gave that to me? There's a cheese. Oh, and then what's this? Oh, our buffalo's hiding back there. I was wondering where you went, you silly buffalo. Just vanishing on us like that. Who else is prized back here who wants fed? Is there our chickens? Our chicken coop? Wait, are they, is it saying that they can be fed in like 30 seconds? It is, oh my gosh. Okay, who else is hiding behind our chicken coop? What's going on over here? I gotcha. A mandarin duck. Our prized mandarin duck was was hiding over there. I got you, you sneaky little adorable thing. We're gonna have to get one more mandarin duck baby. It looks like our horse, oh my gosh, everyone's getting hungry like this second. We're gonna have to get one more mandarin duck. Oh, there we go, and the white feathers before time is up. Oh, and there go our chickens. Oops, I'm gonna need more feed for that. Make feed, and then there's a couple of those. Oh dear. Um, hmm. I might have to turn to our potatoes, which hopefully we have enough from our potato palooza in order to feed everyone. Is that going to be enough feed? See what I mean about feed? Like it becomes really important. Oh my gosh, we don't have enough. Okay, we're going to have to sacrifice a few potatoes and hope that doesn't upset the potato palooza order we're trying to fill. All right, where is it? There they are. And there's our cow. Woo! 
Jeez, maybe these will help in the future just so we can like boom, 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 boom and feed everyone really fast. Oh my goodness gracious. Up oh, and here come, get ready to catch them. Don't let them fall, don't let them fall, don't let them break. Come here, there we go, all of our brown eggs, fantastic, and there. Oh yeah, and you guys, thank you, it's time, it's time to clear. So big thank you to Joe, Justin, Anushka, and Tom. We are clearing this big old rock. We are getting it out of here. My, my cow might be a little sad because it seems to have liked hiding behind that rock. Oh, it's time to feed the chickens again. Gotta remember, feed the chickens here. Feed the chickens right here. Gives me more more of it. Also, I think my chick chicks are supposed to come. And it's like stuck back there. But thank you guys, we just cleared that big giant rock. That's fantastico. Got lots and lots of eggs. And now I'm going to ask your guys help to build my sheep nursery. So we're gonna ask uh, a bunch of people again. Joe, sheep nursery please. We'll see how people respond to that. And then we're gonna harvest our fertilizer bin. I forgot to do that. There I am, still carrying a feed. I'm like permanently carrying feed because it's like, oh, these guys need fed, oh my gosh. And we're also gonna have a whole bunch of people try to help us with building the rabbit nursery. I'm so excited about that, little rabbit nursery. All right, so we'll send those out and see what happens. See if we get enough people or if we need more help because we also need help building the yogurt creamery so it's going to be kind of a race to see which group of people okay you guys are all competing and now we're gonna see which group of people is gonna help us build what first who's gonna win and whoever like whatever group wins and becomes the people who help us build that I will go visit your your farms when we end up doing uh, the episode where it's built so that's very exciting all right so Joe Joe my good friend if you could Thank you for taking care of my animals. I'm gonna come down here while you're doing that. Dry max possible cranberries. And then we're gonna check on our potato palooza lady to see how we're doing there. So let's pop over here. And we are trying to fulfill in three days that we have left this amazingly huge order. I mean, look at this. And she wants 10 more peppered potatoes. I have been frantically working to try to make enough of the potatoes that this woman has requested. Uh, we have enough potatoes, but not enough pepper. So I'm going to be collecting pepper for the next three days. I will ask you guys for pepper. I will post for pepper. It's all about the pepper now. So that's, that's kind of the struggle there. And then we are also going to, let's see, sunflower. Ooh, sunflower cookies sounds fun. 168 sunflowers. Oh, he's, he's kind of asking a lot. Neil. And then this woman, I don't know if we can make enough white dream catchers for her because we're so behind on wool. And I would actually prefer to make Lily her toys. See, she wants some toys. Oh yeah, we need to super feed adult chickens. So we'll do that for her. We're feeding the adult cows, so that's going fine. Uh, and we need to make her some toys. She wants some little, some little duckies. So we're gonna try to make her enough little duckies. So we need one, two, Oh, see what I mean about needing more wool? All right, we made three little duckies. Are we still short? Oh, just one more little ducky. Oh, don't worry, Lily, we will we will take care of you. See, look at our daughter. Oh, she's so cute. And Darling is always hanging out with her. He is being the very good, like, focused parent. Reminds me of my dad. My dad was a stay-at-home dad, and he was amazing. He, he's such a good cook and stuff like that. And my mom ran a business, kind of like what we're doing here. Carrying on the family family legacy, I see. Oh, and then, okay, so we're gonna do a couple more things really fast. Uh, I will take care of planting everything and, oh, oh yeah! Casey, my dear friend, what would you like to do here? Thank you so much for the congrats about, about us having the amazing, absolutely awesome little farm going. And then let's see getting closer halfway there on the Brazilian ironwood tree we need to get. Okay, she fed our donkey. I love seeing what you guys choose to do. Oh, she fed our pig. Yay, we got a burlap sack. Thank you! I wonder what else what else happened. Oh, oh, oh. She fed another one of our pigs. Always useful for when we are trying to make... Uh, you come over to the crafting kiln, which is right here actually. And you can make all sorts of really cool pottery and things like that. So I'll show you guys that at some point too. But right now it's a race to see which is going to be built first. The yogurt creamery 
the rabbit nursery or the sheep nursery. So that's gonna be fun to keep an eye on. I'm going to grow some fast growing crops for a little while to try to get as many of the worms as possible so that I can I can hurry with the 11 hours left and get at least one more baby mandarin duck that we can put in there. And then who else? Oh, and then let's go ahead and we're gonna sell some stuff because we are totally out of the moolah. Sell goods. I've been saving up some good goods for you guys. <sighs> Pretty proud. We have an heirloom embossed leather mirror. 10,000 coins. Quite a few herbed perch. Basically anything fish, especially the heirloom pecan catfish. I have been saving up. Some of the three tier pumpkin pies, which are delicious and very seasonal. Some amazing lotus buns. And then I've also got, let's see, the heirloom tire inflator, the seaweed salads, and the wasabi dressing. We're gonna save these fish to cook in something because it makes them worth so much more. Whoops, don't sell the mashed potatoes, no! Okay, gotta back out of that. Because we can't sell those mashed potatoes, that would totally suck. But let's see how much money we can get because I've been saving up uh, for quite a bit now. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, wasabi dressing, seaweed salad, Heirloom tire inflator. Then we've got 13 stuffed futsu pumpkins, a couple brie. And then, let's see, some sliced baby ginger. We've also got one bat bouquet. I think we can sell the two stuffed donkey toys now. And then the burlap sap. I feel bad selling the donkey toys. Oh, I wish I could take that back, but we're just gonna roll with it for now. Then the pumpkin spice, scallop turnips, like I said, I've been saving a lot for you guys. Some feather dusters, the feeding buckets. Uh, let's see, gonna save all of these things. And then 56, this is what I was really saving. 56 egg salad, my friends. I burned through all of our eggs, but I think it was worth it, and holy moly. Even if they're only worth like about 900 coins each, there we go, and sell. Boom! Look at that! Look at that giant pile of money! That's almost 500,000 coins! That's amazing! That's just freaking amazing! And so hopefully that'll get us a little bit closer to being able to expand, but for now, we're gonna celebrate with a couple things, a couple new little animals, and then we will call it a day, and I will get back to working on the more boring planting stuff in the background. We need more fur. And the black water buffalo, Still locked, gives two fur. Yeah, these guys are pretty much the same. So we're gonna get a new of American buffalo. Down you go, my little friend. We're gonna put the old one away because he's prized now and I don't think we need his prized stuff for anything. And then we're gonna get a new baby pig. Let's, let's look for a little pig. Pig, 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 pig. Little, oh, little guinea hogs. And we're gonna get, I wish we could get a teacup pig because they are freaking cute, but we're gonna get a baby Landrance pig just to see what it's like to raise a baby pig inside the little pig nursery. All right, and I think we want a mud bonus from this guy. Confirm. Oh, and we've already got the ketchup that he wants. That's awesome. Healthy pig treats. Can we make some healthy pig treats? Ooh, I'm gonna have to get more wheat, but we can make some healthy pig treats. So that's gonna be very useful. So I'm gonna work on our little wee baby pig, which is very cute. And then he wants a sun catcher. Can I make a sun catcher real fast? I'm gonna have to, ooh, I think I can. You guys, I think I can make a sun catcher. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yay! I wonder how, why is the sun catcher something for a muddy pig? Oh, to attract some vitamin D. Makes total sense to me. And then we are also going up. <gasps> Look at that fluffy cow! I want that fluffy cow! Okay, you guys. <gasps> and there's flowers on these fences! Okay, we are training so many pigs. You guys have no idea. We will be training pigs like a no tomorrow to get this cow. We already missed out on the chicken medallions that we needed in order to raise, like, get those beautiful plants. We fulfilled the duck one, and that's how we got the baby ginger, which I love. So I want a fluffy cow. That would be the coolest thing ever. All right, I'm gonna make sure that we get the bottles to our hungry buffalo. I'm going to feed our hungry chickens at their little trough again. And I'm going to see if we can we can help little Lily get trained and just plant everything else again. 
So this is gonna be awesome. All right, you guys, thank you so much. As always, I have an amazing time seeing you guys here, helping out and having our farm grow. And like I said, I'm still coming up with ways where we can make it so that you guys, oh, there's the extra egg. That is so cool, it just pops right out, that's awesome. So that you guys can have your farms grow just as much. I will make some advice and tips videos. I will visit your farms and encourage people to do so. We will figure it out. And I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your day. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.